this is one of those things that really makes me scratch my head and it kind of reaffirms a lot of the beliefs I already have. The board R socialism on Reddit has banned someone uh, who's a big on making cat girl pictures. They have de decried it to be sexist and the person is not allowed there anymore even though they've been there for like two years. And a lot of people are now complaining about the moderators on the site and how quickly they are to ban anybody who defends it or something like that. And I'm thinking to myself, that's the major issue? Like, this is, this is like the fracture that's going through our socialism right now? Whether or not a cat girl picture is sexist or not. Like, never mind all the real theoretical questions that need to be answered. Like, how do you build revolutionary potential in the first world? Of course, I would say it's not, but you would think that people who were trying to do that would ask that question. I mean, we're still at a point where Hojas still mistakenly believe that Mao thought the democratic, bourgeois democratic revolution and the socialist revolution were the same thing, and not one is a stage before the other. There's still some more questions on economics to be asked. There, there's still a whole bunch of theory that needs to be explored. But this is the polarizing issue that's created an upheaval. People wanting to get uh, moderators removed over cat girl pictures. And then the question of whether or not cat girl pictures are even sexist. Like, what is wrong with Marxism today that that's somehow important? Like, they've literally got nothing better to think about. They've got no other issue they could discuss instead. And some are recommending that people move from our socialism to lefty poll, which I, I do find very interesting, considering that lefty poll actually is a source for some pretty degenerate pornography. This is one of the reasons why I believe that online anonymous forums are completely meaningless for discussing theoretical issues. I've always stayed away from anonymous boards because they don't go anywhere. They don't do anything. They don't discuss anything. They just natter back and forth at each other and accomplish nothing. I mean, this goes for Lefty Poll as it does for our socialism. So there's really, there's really no difference here. But it, it makes me realize that this is, you know, the leading force of revolution in the first world, particularly the United States, people who are up in arms over a cat girl picture. This is the most pressing, pressing issue of their time and what is causing a schism among their own people. Why isn't something serious, like some kind of theory that needs to be discussed, not some kind of dividing force? Why is it something like this? I would think that Marxists in general should be focused on, focusing on things a lot more important than a bloody cat picture, but this is, this is the nature of first worldism. Because they don't really critically think about anything and they just ignore each other and they don't even, they don't even answer each other, they don't even exchange ideas, they end up getting heated over a picture of a cat girl, which should be like the least important thing they could be talking about. But this is something that will get people banned because, oh, I'm offended by this, I'm offended by that. And whether or not a cat girl picture is sexist, I frankly don't even care because it's not important enough for me to invest that much thought into. And that's, that's what it is. That's the state of things right now. That's what, where Marxist debate online is right now. Because it's a bunch of people who can complain to each other anonymously. They don't, they don't have to be held accountable for anything that they say. They can just say whatever they want. They can get proven wrong and they can just ignore it. Or they can be proven right and somebody can just ignore them. This is why I prefer to do things this way. As close to face to face as you can get. That if I say something, there's a face attached to it. An identity attached to it. A person. And I argue from those positions. I don't just yell things from behind an anonymous account and then never actually learn anything. My views have evolved over time. 
But this is something that's wrong with on anonymous online message boards. They are absolutely no good for discussing ideas. And they are absolutely, they're even worse than that for discussing theory. So guys, come on. You, you, got, you got to be doing something better than this. Like you got to be discussing things far more important than whether or not a bloody cat girl is important enough to get people banned for. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.